right, all done. Whew, that was a workout. <laughs> I can hear Grant in the, they're in the bedroom right there and I can hear Grant barking because it's past dinner time. Yeah, I forgot to shut my grill. Cooked out some hamburgers and hot dogs earlier. What'd you guys do for Labor Day? We cooked out and hauled wood. <laughs> There's a whole bunch in the garage too. Uh, to keep dry for the fireplace inside. So, whew, all right, I better go feed the boys. Grant's happy he got his dinner. He's happy. You feel better, Grant? You feel better that you ate your dinner? <laughs> He was just barking and barking and barking. Yes, he was. He heard us out there and he said, hey, it's dinner time. What's going on? All right. Let these guys finish up and let them out. All right, everybody done? Feed right on it. Told ya. <laughs> Feed right on it. <laughs> Told you guys if it's back here, it gets peed on. That's okay though. It's wood for outside. <laughs> yeah. It mostly gets burned in the fire pit. <laughs> Just gotta wear gloves when you get those bottom corner pieces. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Grant, what are you eating? Grant. Grant, what are you eating? Grant has graduated out of his big recovery crate and back to his, um, why are you eating that grass? No, no, go on. Go on, Grant, you don't wanna eat that. Um, from his big recovery crate back to his um, normal crate. And I've only been putting his cone on his head when I leave the house. He's been really good at leaving his boo-boo alone and uh, been able to trust him. I just, I just put it on him when I leave the house when I can't keep an eye on him. So he hasn't been having to wear his cone except for just a short amount of time if I leave the house. Like today I haven't left so he hasn't had it on all day. So um, he's pretty much pretty much healed. Let's see if he stops. No, he's not going to stop. <laughs> yeah, but he's doing real good. Tomorrow he's got to go get a heartworm check. Um, and he won't see a doctor or anything, just a vet tech. I'll just draw some blood, make sure they'll do a heartworm and tick-borne disease test, and uh, he'll be good um, until after we're back from our trip up north. And then a little bit after that, he'll have another checkup with Dr. Pearson, uh, blood work and stuff to check his liver and all that. Um, doing real good. Everybody else is doing real good. Everybody's been hunting squirrels all weekend. Um, found out there's a skunk living under our neighbor's deck over here. You can smell the smell every now and then, and I'm praying that skunk don't get in the yard and spray one of my dogs. Oh. He's, he's trying to take care of it. He's trying to trap it and get it out of there. But, um, yeah, he's had many uh, animals um, living under his deck like we did with our shed. So, um, anyways, so that's what we did this Labor Day. We cooked out, had wood delivered, and uh, stacked wood. <laughs> now, now to enjoy the rest of the evening. Maybe we'll have a fire. I don't know. Not sure. We're all kind of we're all kind of spent hauling that wood um, back here to the backyard and stacking it. All right, guys. Hope you guys had a great weekend, and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Somewhere in between, it's time to step up. It's time to lock in your predictions for the 2021 Detroit Lions. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven is the phone number for calls and ticket texts. 
I'm sure that this is going to be done all week, but um, the most important place to lock in your prediction is right here on live show. Because it's the highest rated show on 97 won the ticket at this moment. Um, I want you to tell me not just what you think the record is going to be, whether it's 4 and 13 or 13.